Why they lying on my name, on my soul? I can't lose control when you're doing the most. What's my hope? I can't lose my soul. I can't lose no more. Show what is going on, guys, and today we're back with another big video. And in this video, as you can tell by the title, we do have how I take my Instagram photos slash edit my Instagram photos. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day and hit that subscribe button because we post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, four times a week, which is probably better than your what? Your favorite YouTuber, unless of what? Of course, what? I'm your favorite YouTuber. But without further ado, we are going to get a haircut because your boy can't be looking bummy. Um, the hairline's basically gone. Um, there's no fade. I just got straight hair all on here. So me and Alan are linking up right now. We're going to go get a haircut. We're going to take some Instagram photos. I'm going to come back and edit them. I'm going to show you that whole process right now. But first, the first step before we even get into it, you got to hit that like button. Now, the real first step is picking out the fit, which I made a video if you struggle with picking out outfits. I already made that video, so go check it out. But I want to take a picture in these because I've had these for a couple months now. I haven't worn them. And a lot of you guys just like like these. And I really want to take an Instagram photo in these. So we're going to be building an outfit around this sneaker. And yeah, it's very, very cold out today. I might have to take a picture in the jacket. I don't know, though. Again, you could just take off the jacket for the flicks, but... Yeah, we'll see. So this is going to be the footwear. Pulled out a couple pieces. Like I have this cream hoodie. I have a cream uh, long sleeve on right now, which I'm going to wear regardless whether I'm wearing a hoodie or not. I have this right here, which uh, ignore that. This would be covered, but I just like the colors of this with the green and the orange. And then my this I'm feeling because it's my jacket and obviously my winter jacket. Again, I don't know if I'm going to take flicks in this. We got this right here this bag which i haven't worn yet and i feel like you know just a cool little cool little complimentary these pants right here which go absolutely crazy again another thing i haven't worn yet so we're gonna try on two versions of this fit and we're gonna see which are gonna be the instagram photos I'm not gonna lie i think i like the i think i like the flannel i didn't even try on the hoodie but i think i like the flannel to be honest with the fit i don't know and then i'm gonna have my jacket too um i don't know if i'm gonna wear a hat yet because again i'm getting a haircut so I don't really want to wear a hat if I'm literally getting a haircut and then taking pictures, but you know me, I'll probably I'll probably put on the, the fit. This is with the hoodie, um, obviously it's like the, it's literally the same color as the shirt. It's just a it's just a hoodie now. So I don't know, I don't know. Again, y'all y'all are gonna know because y'all probably saw the Instagram in this video to see how I edit my Instagram photos and take my Instagram photos. And you're not following my Instagram at paul.souls. What are you doing? So this is the last time you go see me with this hair. We're about to go get a haircut right now. And yeah, let's go do that. Three, two, one. Now. Like, damn, this is bright. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're currently trying to find a spot to take pictures, but we're in Queens right now. And no disrespect to my Queens viewers. But at least where we're at in Queens, there's nowhere good to take flicks. Like we can't find nowhere to take flicks right now. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue looking. So we're over here searching and I found this like grass wall, but the sun is very weird. So and we found this uh, silver like garage thing. So I'm gonna post up in front of it and we're gonna try to take some pictures. You ready, sir? Just yeah, make sure nobody comes by and steals my shit. Blowing on my phone, seeing if I'm okay. Uh -uh, I had to get up out the hood, find another way. Uh, start a rap and move my mama out to PJ. Uh, I'm a guard every day till a billion in my bay. Uh, I got girl out on my waist, I got real expensive taste. I'm like, I do where my neck be dancing in the night and day. I can't climb around, it's too much niggas trying to take my place. The way I pull up with the stars in the race, it's making the man know they all feel it. When I was done bad, they said I was trash. Now I'm just saying, I got nothing to say. <laughs> Hi y'all, this is number two. We're gonna be taking some flicks on the subway once the lighting comes in. Um, but yeah, so we got some flicks in Queens or whatever. Uh, we're gonna see how those came out. Alan's looking through them right now. We're gonna do some more here, you know, to do as many as possible. Because you're gonna find one out of those hundred and something photos that you like. Or maybe you'll find more than one, which I always find more than one. I find I normally post like three to like seven. If it, on a good day, seven, but like minimum three, I'd be posted. We just took some flicks right here on the subway. You know, it's mad. It's mad pretty out. Like the lighting is the lighting is mad good. So, yes, sir. Alright, y'all. We going to Chipotle. 
two hours later. Alright y'all, so we're back at the crib. Ignore the light. It's night time for me. Um, me and Alan were just chilling and yeah, he left now and uh, it's dark out and we got the purple and green lights. No Joker vibes, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna be showing y'all basically, you know, the good part. We, we did, we did the, the hard part. We did the hardest part of the whole entire day, which was actually just taking the photos, finding a spot. And like, where am I gonna take photos? Whenever you're out, just like anywhere, like around where you live, maybe somewhere where you could drive to or take the train to, or depending where you live. Um, like if you see a spot that looks cool for like future photos, just like put a note in your head, like, oh, all right, next time I wanna take Instagram photos or write it down in your notes and be like, all right, da 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 da. Today we didn't have, we didn't have one of those. We literally just walked around and tried to find uh, find cool spots. And uh, yeah, so pictures did come out pretty good. Um, again, we're gonna look through them right now. So I'm gonna put up the screen recording. Screen recording. So. As you can see, the first spot that we took photos at was like in front of somebody's crib, low key. Cause like, if you don't know how Queens is, well, at least that part of Queens. I don't want to generalize Queens, cause my Queens viewers are gonna get mad. But like, it's more like it's more suburban over there. Um, this part of Queens, and uh, so there wasn't like it was like cool or whatever. There's not that many places to take pictures. Um, so this was like the first style. There were some cool photos from there, I'm not gonna lie. Then the second one is I saw this orange door on the way back to the subway and I thought it was pretty cool, you know, boom, nothing crazy again. I went through all these photos already and I hearted the ones, which I'll show y'all in a second. Then on the way, when we're about to enter the subway, I found this like green little grass wall and I really like the way this looked. So. As you can see, we took a lot, like a lot here. Again, and just literally tell your cameraman, whoever it is, just literally tell them to spam, like spam, spam off guards. Cause the off guard photos be coming out the best, at least for me. I think the off guard photos be coming out the best. So yeah, and then the last and final spot we took pictures at was literally just this, like on the subway, on the way back, just driving through Brooklyn. Like this was literally the last spot we took photos at. So yeah, I went through and we went through and we went Here's the favorites. So we have a lot of favorites. I, I selected a lot of favorites just because I'm not gonna post all these, obviously. You can only post up to 10 and I'm not even gonna post 10. But we selected three, six, nine, 12, 15, um, 18, 21, 24. So out of the 24 photos, we took like 100 something. I cut it down to 24 and I'm gonna delete all the other ones and all the ones that I hearted, I'm gonna keep. Now, now I'm gonna go through these hearted ones and I'm gonna figure out which ones I wanna post. And then from the ones that I wanna post, I'm probably gonna pick like seven. I'm gonna try to pick se seven's like the max I wanna post. I don't really go over seven. So after the seven, once we narrow down the seven, I will get into the editing and I'll show y'all how I edit my Instagram photos. So now let me uh, look through these photos and figure out which ones I'm gonna actually post. So you see all the, the, the 24 that's right here, we're gonna narrow down to seven. All right, y'all, so I did narrow it down to nine. Now, I, saw that, I said I was gonna go to seven, but I wanna edit these nine and see how they look after the edit, and then we'll probably, you know, get rid of two more. But uh, yeah, so the nine that we chose, again, I'm gonna show y'all in a second, but we are gonna be using Visco for this. Now, I do use Photoshop sometimes, depending on what I have to edit out. Say, like, something's in the background I don't want or something like that, then I'll use Photoshop. But these pictures seem pretty clean, so I don't really have to use Photoshop like that. But just know Photoshop is definitely, definitely a good option if you have it. If, you have, if you're accessible to Photoshop, I highly recommend it. I feel like for the majority, I'm just gonna show Visco because everybody could use Visco. It's a free app, it's nothing crazy. So, three, two, one, boom! Put up the picture, put up the screen recording. Now we're gonna be on Visco. I know y'all see that a little 5 a.m. hustle peak, peak collab, but I'm just saying, yo, my subscribers, my subscribers. Stay tuned to my Instagram at Pulled Out Souls. Let's just say 5 a.m. Hustle Collab Part 2. Part 3 is the third 5 a.m. Hustle Collab coming very, very soon. Well, actually four if you count the stickers. So I'm gonna go to my favorited and we have nine, nine photos we wanna edit. So I'm gonna start off with the one that I think I'm gonna be using as the main photo just to show y'all. So I have this photo right here. I just like the way it looks. I'm just looking at the camera. I got the clean cut. I got the book bag on. You, got, you can see a little bit of each of the outfit. Da, 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 da. You see a little flannel popping out underneath. Got the shoes on. And I just like the way it looked. Now, um, I'm probably gonna center it and fix it after too, which you can literally just do on your phone. Like you can edit on your phone. You don't even need an app to edit half the time. Like this, you probably don't even need Visco for this, but I do add a little bit of something. So you'll see what I'm talking about. But we're gonna go down to this bottom thing right here and you're gonna see all these little options right here. And I'm telling you all, if y'all just play around with this, you could probably make the dopest photos. But I like keeping my stuff simple. I don't really go crazy with the editing on the photos because I just want it to look more natural. I'm not really like, you know, trying to 
put in like a third me in the background and like go crazy. The thing we're gonna do is lower the exposure. I always lower the exposure. I don't know why, it's just something I do. So the before, the after, again, literally just by one. That's all I did. Then the contrast, I'm gonna lower it by one and two. So I'm literally just darkening it just a little because I'm gonna be bringing it out again. So I darkened it. As you can see, this was it before. This is it after. There's basically nothing done to it yet. Then we go to this HS tone right here and we're gonna put up the shadow to as high as you want. This is like glaring. This is, this is too much shadows, but I do like getting rid of the shadows because I feel like it does help. So I'm probably gonna put it at like six, I'm thinking. Let me see, this is before, this is after, before, after. I'm probably gonna put it at six because you're gonna see why, because the shadow's gonna get kind of taken away by this last step. So for the last step, we're gonna go to the grain. So again, this is the before picture, this is the after. As you can tell, I don't really do, I don't really do that much, but this is the biggest difference from the last time I made this video, is the grain. I've been putting a grain on my photo photos for like the past couple months. And you can put whatever type of grain you want. Uh, this is, I put, this is four, so this is four grain, and I could put the six, but I don't like going crazy OD because then it just looks blurry. Then the grain doesn't really look grainy and it makes your photo look blurry. So I still kind of like having that like cleaner look, but I do like when there's a little bit of grain. So I'm probably gonna put the grain at like four. Let me look at this. I think, what, yeah, I think, I think four. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna use a grain for this. No, 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 I'm gonna use a grain, I'm gonna use a grain, I'm gonna put it at four, because I, I always use a grain, so it kind of matches my whole thing, because if you look at all my Instagram photos, they all have grains on them, so this is the before, this is the after. The before, the after. Before, after, before, after. You get it, you get it, you get it, so there's like this glare to it, kind of looks a little bit clean, and uh, again, any imperfections that I maybe want out of the photo, if it throws me off, I'll put the photo onto Photoshop, and I'll get rid of it. Say like, I never do this, but I know people can do this, Say you have a huge pimple on your forehead or something, which I don't, I don't. But say you have a huge pimple on your forehead, literally go on Photoshop, take it out, and you really want to take flicks, just go on Photoshop, circle it with the little uh, little patch tool, circle it, pull it over to the side, boom. Pimple's gone, you don't have to worry about it, your face looking bad, and yeah, that's for my, that's for my people that I know wanted to hear that. So uh, yeah, but that's just like something little without like ruining it. Because again, I don't really want to ruin the photo, like I kind of like keeping it more natural, but so this is what we did. Again, I'm gonna go through the next eight, the eight more of these I have to do. And yeah, as you can tell, the process does not take long at all. And we're gonna figure them out. We're gonna see which ones we're gonna post. And y'all can go peep them on the Instagram at paul.souls. Go follow the Instagram at paul.souls. And if you're following the Instagram already, you probably saw these, but let me look through these and edit them all up. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, if you wanna see the full entire Instagram photos in depth and take your time and look at them, go check out the Instagram at paul.souls. But that was how I edit and take my Instagram photos, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, I will catch you on the next one. Make sure you leave a like, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you on the next one. And we out. Have a blessed day, y'all. I love y'all. Stay safe. Grind to 60,000 subscribers. I do it with passion, yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer in love with the fashion.